Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time today. We're gonna take a look at a 2023 Winnebago Micro Mini, model number 1808 FBS. Weighs around 42, 4,300 pounds or so. We've got a rear entrance with a rear bath, lots of storage, side slide, front queen, aluminum framing, Asdell uh, interior walls, fiberglass skin, great looking front fiberglass cap, electric front jack, electric rear jacks, solar panel on the roof, torsion suspension, mudder tires. We're gonna get to all of it. This is gonna have you rebuilding a Harley Davidson with your guy friends. And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hanemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. How's it going, future campers, happy campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. We're fired up bringing you this micro mini this morning, so I think you should hit that like and subscribe button. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook, producing some sweet reels, so you should check us out there as well. Enjoy this sweet unit. This is an awesome, nimble, double axle little couples trailer, right? Like, just very, very, very towable. We got our front power jack, a 30 pound per paint tank cover, but 20 pound per paint tank's actually in it. And then you're gonna have a battery in a box location right in through there. Good looking front fiberglass cap. We've got some green going in through here. We have a side mount piece here. We can add extra solar, pass through storage, all the way through to the other side. A little bit wider door on the other side. Electric jacks all the way around. They are individually switched. You guys should bring one jack down on the left corner, left front corner, right corner, wherever you want to do in through there. Six gallon gas, electric water heater. We got our Goodyear Wrangler tires on this guy as well. Are those 15s, B? Yes. Yeah, 15 inch torsion suspension. BAL frame, which is huck bolted together. We can get into that. Give me a call. Cable satellite inlet, outside shower, black water flush kit, city water connection, sewer drain down below, 30 amp detachable style cord, full size spare. We're gonna put a beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there. There's a class three receiver down there at the bottom. There's a roof ladder, so you gotta get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Three step entrance up and in, lend a hand, grab handle, and then our electric awning starts right here at the back. Goes forward, we've got LED lights in the awning, outside speakers, here's your fridge vent, furnace vent, fresh water fill, outside spray port. If you wanna put an outside TV on there, you do that. Good looking tires, B. I agree. Good looking rims, love to see it. You can see the uh, the wider door over here on this side. These baggage doors are held up by magnets. We've got slam latch doors too. Nice green here in the decals. Wouldn't you agree, Brennan? No. Let's go have a look. Uh, let's actually see what kind of travel access we got. You don't think that's green still? That one looks a little green. That one looks a lot green. <laughs> yeah. All right, so slide's still closed. I'm able to just kind of shuffle down the side here, get to my fridge, see what I need to do there. Then. We can get to our bathroom as well, slip into there, wash your hands, use the toilet, even sit down here in the dinette. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that 1808 FBS. What a difference opening the slide out makes on the short little model. We have a lot of floor space here in the middle. You're standing at the back door there, looking towards the bed. I gotta apologize, Brennan. Good. In the intro, I said queen bed. Got a little too excited. What is it? It's a double bed. <laughs> so it's 54 inches wide, not 60. So I apologize for that, folks. Hopefully you watched the full video. If you didn't, then, sorry. You're lost. You're lost. We got windows on both sides of the bed. We got great storage here, all the way across the top of the bed with nice hidden hinges, LED lights throughout, you know, light, 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 light. We've got uh, covered here into our, oh, it's actually separate from our outside uh, storage. That's nice to see. There's your cupboard there. We've got our pantry space here right beside our fridge. This one has the optional 12 volt fridge. It's a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge running off the battery. Battery's being charged with the solar panel. Roof mount AC up and through here. M convection microwave on this guy. I could tell that by the sticker, Brandon. I've, yeah. And then I can also tell that by the stainless steel and through here. Just trying to teach you things as we go, Brandon. I knew that. I, well, <laughs> just a little refresher course here early on Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning, yeah. pardon me. Nice mint door, 
colors, eh? I agree. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Now, is that green? Yes. Oh, okay, well, good. Mint, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> Kitchen window, undermount stainless steel sink, glass stovetop cover. Um, it's a three burner stovetop underneath here. We've got a drawer in through here. Remember, there's no oven because we have a convection microwave. Pop down piece there for your breakers and your fuses. We're going to have a pop down piece here just for squeegees and such. Two drawers. And then a pop down piece here uh, for access to plumbing. And then one more cupboard in through there. There are two plastic sink covers to cover up our stainless steel sink. Pull out faucet, nice big sink overall. Now flipping over here to the back, we've got our rear entrance which we just came in. TV is on arm, so you can kind of move that around if you want to. Charge your phone in through here, JBL sound system. Our controls for things like tank heaters, our awning, our, uh, our lights, our slide, all of that is controlled right through here. And then we've got some great little bits of cupboard space as we walk in. Maybe for some shoes, maybe for some jackets, maybe for some more pantry space. Feeling good about that. Let's just do the dinette here, Brendan, while we're here. It's got a booth dinette. The top of the, of the dinette itself matches the counter space really nicely. It's seamless. It's light furniture. There's a window behind. And then we've got cupboard space on each side of that dinette. Notice there's no carpet in here at all. It's just finished off with linoleum and wood. And then heading into the bathroom, it's a corner style bathroom, right? On a very small trailer, so it's going to be tight. Plastic toilet in through here. Now, my right leg is going to be tight with this door, but that's just what it is. We've got covered space there. We've got a stainless steel sink, and then we've got a medicine cabin right here above. Skylight here above, so I'm going to be able to stand up right inside of that. I'm six feet tall, a uh, small little shower. Um, you know, you're not sitting down here lounging, that's for sure. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Have yourself a good day.